Hi, this is Cameron back again with another Vinyl Finds video. This is number 52 of my series of Vinyl Finds videos. So what I'm going to show this time are some dollar and two dollar albums I've picked up either at a flea market that I rarely go to but decided to go to about, a, about two weeks ago as well as some bargain bins from my favorite record store into the music that now has a second location at the old music trader store. So they've bought it out and there's a second uh, into the music location, one closer to me. So it's uh, nice and convenient. Anyways, I'll get started. So this was a real find. I was happy to get for a dollar uh, the best of birth control. So this is from 1977, some German prog rock. Then from 1973, some good um, blues, a little bit of singer-songwriter, uh, Gallagher, Gallagher and Lyle, Willie and the Lapdog. This uh, album came out after they left McGinnis, uh, McGinnis Flint Band. Then uh, Art Garfunkel from 1978, the album Watermark. We all know Art Garfunkel from his participation in the duo uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Then some British uh, sort of prog rock of uh, Steve Hackett from 1981 called Cured. Some fantastic uh, country bluegrass music from Emmy Lou Harris in 1981 called Evangeline now much like uh, Wes mentioned you know, Super Wes Whenever he finds a Folkways album, he picks it up on the same way. Whenever I find a Folkways or a Folk Legacy album or anything along that lines, I pick it up. This is on Folkways from 1961. Karen James accompanying herself on guitar, and she does um, uh, Canadian folk music from Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Ontario. She's from Ontario herself. So 1961, Karen James. And this does include the liner notes on the inside, which are sometimes people take out and don't put back. So I was lucky to get that. Uh, next up, Ricky Lee Jones, who I discovered quite recently, and I really, really enjoyed her singer-songwriter material. I think she's an excellent artist. This one's got the hit Chucky's in Love, and it came out in 1970, let's see, 79. Film artist from the 1930s, this is Jesse Matthews, I'd never heard of her before. That's on an album called Over My Shoulder, which came out in 1974, um, but as I said, it's her film music from the 1930s, mid-1930s. That was an unusual find on a... Is it a UK label? Yeah, on a Decca Eclipse label out of uh, London. Next up, sort of a quirky pop band from 
England in the early 80s. This album came out in 82. The monochrome set, Eligible Bachelors. Sort of a funk rock band from 1977, Mother's Finest, Another Mother Further. <clears throat> Great folk artist that I've seen live at our folk fest, Tom Paxton, the album Heroes from 1978 on Vanguard. one of the original folk revival artists, I think out of the Cambridge scene in the uh, late 50s, early 60s, and uh, then became more of a singer-songwriter as he moved away from the traditional folk material. Okay, another uh, uh, folk, a little bit of country influence, Art Rosenbaum, The Art of the Mountain Banjo on Kicking Mule label, so anything on Kicking Mule, like Rounder or Shanaki or any of those other flying fish or any of those other labels, I pick up everything on Kicking Mule. So this is from 1975. Some British uh, pop not psych, but pop rock. Uh, I believe 1969, John and Ann Ryder, I Still Believe in Tomorrow, which was their big hit, as well as A Sign for Love on DECA label out of the UK. U.S. Blues and rock influenced band from 1970, Tea Garden and Van Winkle. I think this has got a, yeah, this has got a gatefold. Oh, Roadies is the name of the album. Unusual find next from, I think this came out in the 60s, I could be wrong, it could be a little later, but I'm pretty sure this is from the 60s, on Lyricord label, which is a great, Lyricord is a great world music label, uh, this one is Professor Liang Ping and his group, Chinese Instrumental Heritage, so it's all about showcasing different traditional Chinese instruments and this and the musical instrumentals that accompany them, that are that are you that are made using them, I should say. I picked up quite a bit of uh, instrumental music when I went to China about fifteen years ago, so for work. Uh, I was just there for a couple weeks, and I picked up lots and lots of uh, music from Beijing and Shifang. So this is just right up my alley. Uh, next up, Martini Time by the Art Van Dam Quintet. So some easy listening music. Nice cover from 1955. Sort of easy listening jazz. Pop jazz. Out of Fleetwood Mac, Bob Welch, the album Three Hearts. I believe this came out in 70, was it 77 or 76? Anyways, mid 70s. This was another interesting find. Actually, I got this at, at uh, Salvation Army. No, wait. 
um, Value Village, I believe, for two dollars. Uh, um, Inya Te Te Waiata and Maori Chorus Waiata Maori Festival of Maori Songs from New Zealand, and it's a New Zealand issue. I have a few Maori um, albums on CD, but this is my first on LP. And finally, Steve Winwood solo album called Steve Winwood from 1977. This is actually a reissue from 1986. So that's it for this uh, collection of Vinyl Finds albums. As I said, it's number 52. I'd be interested in getting some feedback from you on these albums. I know that uh, there's some rock, there's a whole variety of uh, genres, including some world music. Um, please leave your comments and please subscribe. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.